Hi, I'm James, and today we are taking a look at Grand Theft Auto V running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5625U Barcelo APU. And we are running this at 1080p and the default settings that the game uh, detected, which are a mixture of sort of the sort of standard normal and medium presets. Um, some detail settings turned up too high, but basically as the game ran out the box. And as we can see here, we have not made any other optimizations to reduce detail, but the game is consistently running at above 30 frames per second. In this first bit, we are running through the canned benchmark and we see typically we are in the 30 to 40 frames per second range. And this continues as we go into the final section where the game will fly through a varied landscape and then into the city itself. I don't believe there are any real dips below 30 frames a second throughout this. And therefore, if you were running this with the half V-Sync option, which would lock frame rates to uh, half the 60 hertz of the panel in this laptop, the game would be delivering a solid 30 frames a second and very smooth, consistent frame rates. It is worth noting that this was done on a Dell Inspiron 14 5425 laptop with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 memory in a dual channel configuration. This chip also uh, in this laptop uh, turbos fairly aggressively, so you do use above 15 watts of power when running on mains power. So your results may vary with your specific machine. If say particularly you only have single channel memory will have a major impact. Uh, less than 16 gigabytes of memory, so even if it's two 4 gig modules, again, you may see reduced performance or more stuttering as textures are loaded in due to less VRAM available. Um, or depending on the exact cooling of the chassis you have, the power consumption limits may be lower than on this Dell. But on the whole, if you have a dual channel configuration with this processor, I'd expect performance roughly in line with what you're seeing here. I've also included some gameplay after the benchmark, so you can see how the game ran in the GTA Online mode, both just running around in free roam and in a online race. So overall, I was quite impressed. We are getting to the point here where if we were dropping down to 720p using render scaling, uh, we would probably be seeing closer to 60 frames per second. There are optimizations you can make as well outside of the game's options to try and increase frame rates if you need to. But if you're happy playing around 30 frames per second, this is actually a pretty good experience. So I hope you found this video interesting. Um, do let me know in the comments below if you have. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos in the future and like if you found this useful. Thanks for watching.